Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to do a comparison between the Impulse RC Alien RR5 and the eBay Alien RR5. And I know what you are thinking. Well, that's the Martian 2. No, it's not. This is the Martian 2. And I got this in a trade several months back. And the guy told me, which he probably didn't know any better, he told me it was a clone of the Impulse Alien. And I, I believed him. And then I bought the Alien and realized it's not. It's, it's a QAV R250 or 220, whatever they call it. Um, but it's actually bigger than the Alien. So it's not really a clone. This one, however, I found on eBay. It's called a Lico or a Leico, something like that. Found it for $38 from China. And it finally showed up about a week ago. And I assembled it. And it is an exact copy of the Alien. Everything is identical except for possibly the quality of the carbon fiber. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. But this carbon fiber looks different than this carbon fiber. This is the carbon fiber from this clone over here. This is carbon fiber from the Martian, which is very similar to the Alien. And you can see a difference there. And I'm not sure on how to um, judge quality of carbon fiber exactly. Um, but the carbon fiber looks a little different. But measurement-wise, thickness, the size, everything, they're identical. This one I even bought an Alien PDB for, and it bolted right in. So let's go over electronics real quick. I got Mr. Steel silk motors here. I got Emax red bottoms here. Same 30 amp BO Heli ESCs. Same Alien PDBs. Same Omnibus F4 flight controllers. Same TBS Unify Pro VTXs. Same Rotor Riot run cams. Same XSR receivers. TBS, uh, what do they call it? Triumph antenna. And Fat Shark antenna on this one. The only difference is motors and antennas. That's it. Everything else is the same. I did that on purpose because I want to compare these as equally as I can. Now I'm going to nickname this one my Suicide Quad because it's a little bit cheaper to build. Actually quite a bit cheaper to build than this one. I'm going to do more risky stuff with this one. And you see I do have a Rotor Riot battery strap on here. It came with this one but it feels and looks like garbage so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to keep it as a backup or an extra one or give it away or something. I don't know. So I built this one a little bit cheaper because I got a lot of money in this one. The Mr. Steel motors were like 100 bucks for all four compared to the Emax motors. So I wanted this one to be a little bit cheaper but at the same time as similar as I could get within my budget to compare them equally. I have flown this one and it flies almost identical to this one. If y'all watch my videos, this is the one I've been using solid for the past six months. I think it's the only one I've flown of my collection for the past six months in all of my videos. Um, there are some negatives to this one, but there are a lot of positives to it also. With the assembly process, it's identical to the Alien. The hardware is more of a pinkish on here, and it's definitely more red on this one. With that said, the hardware sucks on the copy. It's really cheap aluminum. I broke several screws trying to assemble it. But they do give you this black bag of steel hardware. So they definitely covered you on the hardware part. So if you do break too many aluminum screws, you can always switch over to the steel hardware. Not that I'm worried about saving a few ounces of weight switching to aluminum hardware. It really doesn't matter. It's a freestyle quad, not a racer. The biggest thing... I hate most about this drone right here is the camera mounting. Now, the Alien camera mounting system is ingenious. I love the way they did it. The little notches in here to angle your camera and it stays there. It doesn't move. This one came with the same mounting system but it didn't include all the pieces. What I do like that they did is they drilled holes in the bottom of the frame for the standard camera bracket that comes with pretty much every FPV camera. This is the pieces here for the camera mounting system, but this is it. It didn't include the rest of the pieces to actually mount the camera to it. 
and the holes don't line up and it was just crap so that sucks but what I'm gonna do later on is order a camera mounting system for an alien and put it on here with my micrometer I measured everything and it's all the same all the gaps and everything so they did a really good job of copying it even though I'm not a huge supporter of clone frames they they did a good job of copying it let's take a look at the computer here and you can see I've got the drone up it's the alien RR5 they don't list it as anything else but an alien I've read through the whole description and everything they sell this as an alien RR5 which is kind of wrong but I guess there's really nothing that can be done about it and it's for about 40 bucks free shipping from China so it takes about a month to get here then we go over to the Rotor Riot store and we have the actual alien 130 bucks so for the clone you're getting it at one third the cost minus the PDB if you decide to go with an alien PDB and you'll have to probably buy an alien camera mounting system to get the camera mounted in there the right way so it's not sticking out so far it's going to get smashed on your first crash now if you're on a budget looking to build a frame or a drone uh, TVS released the Source One which I am a fan of it uh, I have not personally owned one but I've seen them and I really like the way they're designed so as soon as they become available because they are currently out of stock for $26 I'm gonna get one so there's lots of options out there for building drones uh, you don't have to get the very expensive ones but you don't have to get the very cheap ones from China either uh, this is a name brand drone frame for $26 that's like unheard of and their TVS Oblivion I think is like 30 or 35 so there's lots of good options out there for name brand uh, frames so if you're watching this and you were thinking about getting this frame but you wanted to see a review on it I hope this answered all of your questions if not leave a question in the comment section below and I will get to it as quick as I can usually within a few minutes um, that's my review honestly I like it um, considering the money you save I can deal with the camera sticking out a little too far I can spend a little bit of money getting a camera mounting system for an alien and mounting it in here other than that uh, it's really good quality and it flies great I've flown several packs through it and it flies identical to my alien I mean I really like it so thanks for watching guys please like comment share subscribe and I'll see you all next time